So confusing was the gunpowder plot that Attorney General Sir Edward Coke said, future generations will wonder whether it is fact or fiction. The orchestrator of the plot, Robert Catesby, didn't know every detail, but knew a lot more than anyone else, and died resisting arrest. All those arrested were peripheral. The founding members were the remnants of the 1601 Essex plot. The Earl of Essex, having failed in Ireland, is dismissed from office and loses his lucrative monopoly on sweet wine. His impoverished entourage join him in a coup attempt. Essex loses his head and his entourage are imprisoned and fined. In 1603, Queen Elizabeth dies and the power brokers invite James VI to become James I of England. Some of the Essex plotters join the main and by plots of 1603, in which Sir Walter Raleigh and Lord Cobham were accused of taking Spanish money to replace James with Arabella Stuart. Griffin Markham, racked by debt with an arrest warrant on his head, joins the plot. In the one-man plot, Robert Bassett, a Devonshire landlord and pirate ship owner, is sued by French merchants through an English court for £15,000 and seizes Lundy Island, declaring himself King of England and actually having as good a claim as Arabella Stewart. Eight peers supported the Essex plot, two peers supported the main and by plots and no peers supported the gunpowder plot, which was dreamt up by the idiot fringe of the indebted gentry. The founding members were the remnants of the Essex plot, Catesby, Monteagle and Tresham, who sent word to Spain through Chief Jesuit Father Garnet that they'd act as a fifth column for Philip III in return for a Spanish pension. The Jesuits had a Spanish religious order and the chief English Jesuit had sat out the Anglo-Spanish War in Madrid proclaiming Philip II to be the rightful King of England. with gunpowder planted below a plague-delayed parliament, Monteagle had done with all former plots and wished to stand wholly for the king. His son-in-law Tresham unexpectedly inherited an estate and also wanted out. Monteagle arranged for a meal to be served at a seldom-used house. A stranger in the street delivers a letter. Monteagle orders it to be read aloud to the guests and blows the gaff. By this device, Tresham forewarns the others and alerts the authorities. The plotters charge around the country, contaminating everyone they contact. Thomas Percy, a man much prone to violence, who has already served a sentence for murder, contaminates the Wizard Earl of Northumberland, who subsequently joins Sir Walter Raleigh in the Tower, and spends many evenings with him discussing science and history. Catesby and co. set themselves on fire, drying out gunpowder, are surrounded, arrested or killed. Four Jesuits are implicated. Starved out of their priest holes, Garnet was executed for having knowledge of the plot. Monteagle went from chief conspirator to national hero, and received a pension from the Crown to restore his rickety finances. <laughs>